Hello to all. Uh, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how uh, we can draw the flow duration curve. So, flow duration curve generally uh, look like this, uh, where in one axis we have got the probability of accidents, uh, and in other column we could have either uh, flow, uh, either discharge or level or any things uh, which tends to change in a duration. Okay. And on the basis of this curve, uh, with the help of this curve, we can find out uh, the different percentage uh, of availability of that particular value. For an example, in this case, this graph is actually showing the flow duration curve of a discharge of a certain uh, site uh, where the river is getting along. So here we can see that uh, U25, that means 25 percently, we are getting the value approximately 250 to 30. That means 25% of time during a year or during a whole tenure, the flow will be available approximately this much of Qmax. And we can see that 90% of this value we are getting approximately like 20 Qmax or 30 Qmax. So that means 90% of time the this particular point receives this much, minimum this much amount of um, Qmax. So if you go by the definition, so, flow duration curve is a graphical representation of the distribution of flow rates. It can be a level flow, anything in a river or a stream over a period of time. It is used to assess the variability of a stream flow to evaluate the frequency and magnitude of the floods and drought and to design the hydraulic structure and water supply system. And it can be created using the long term series, uh, long term stream flow data set. So let's go to the Microsoft Excel in order to create the flow duration curve. So here we have got some uh, flow data set, uh, the monthly average uh, flow. You can take 10 daily flow, you can take daily flow or maybe something else duration yearly. Okay. So here uh, we got the data from like 1977 to 2014 of a particular uh, gauging site. And now we want to create the flow duration curve of this data set. So um, normally you can get the data in this format or in a single form uh, column format. So we will try to discuss uh, both of this uh, data structure. So in order to convert all of this uh, metrics into a single column, we are going to use a formula in the Excel known as to call. That means TO. It uh, returns the array into the one column. So I'll just select the array first. That means all the data set. Then hit enter. Now you can see this all the data. That means approximately uh, 456 values are come under a single column. So this is uh, one of the method to change the data structure. And you can see that 39.135 then other value 35.52. And if you want to like uh, skip, uh, if you want to uh, do the data like 1st January, then February, and you can do that also for an example, first, uh, this formula, create comma and use the false. So now you can see that, oh sorry, true. Now you can see that after 39.35, we have 27.3 and 43 points. Now, in order to calculate the flow duration curve, the matter, uh, uh, you don't need to worry about which value should come first because we are going to arrange this data into a descending order. So, first of all, we will copy this data and we will we'll paste as a value. Okay. I uh, will just leave one row. So, this is the discharge and we will do uh, in the descending order, sort largest to smallest. Okay. Now, afterwards, we will give the rank. Okay. So after converting into descending order, we will give to uh, rank from one to like we are total we have uh, 456 values. So we are going to get the rank of 456. Okay. Now after we will apply the probability or uh, we can either have several formulas uh, for that uh, the probability distribution. So what we will do uh, rank divided by n plus 1. N means total number of values. So here N is 456. That means 456 plus 1 into 100. 
okay so we will just introduce the decimal places so now you can see that uh, we have created the data set with a probability of 0.22 till 99.78 because we are using the formula where denominator is plus one so any value couldn't get up to the 100 percentage okay now we will just going to simply plot it so for that purpose uh, we are going to insert you can take this or uh, uh, scatter plot with a line and go to the select chart design select data we will and the series give any name like q over the x-axis we are going to give the this probability we will select this whole column okay that means from s2 to s4 for 57 and in the y column we are going to select this uh, q and okay okay so now you can see this we got the curve uh, we will just go to format axis and reduce it to 100 now you can see this you got the flow duration curve of this uh, particular site and if we you can calculate like for an example for q40 uh, the values are approximately uh, like 40.7 uh, or oh, sorry uh, 147 qmax or you can check with these particular values okay Another matter to do that, uh, for an example, um, you don't want to uh, like convert this format to this format or you don't want to drag this uh, along or if you want to calculate for a specific um, probability. So for, uh, for that purpose, there is a formula. Uh, but before that, uh, we are just going to write the P and for, uh, you can get the like P with a like uh, we don't want to go to 1 200 but 2 4 6 okay and we can get up to the 100 and the discharge the formula we are going to use is is equal to percentile okay next thing it is asking about array so either you can provide the whole array in the column or in this structure also then comma then k so here k is equal to 1 minus 2 divided by 100 that means 1 minus e44 divided by 100 and we're going to click enter and just drop down and we will try to create the chart from this also insert so now this is the similar chart that uh, we are getting in the case of uh, the previous chart or if you want to uh, put uh, this uh, in order to check that these value are coming same as the not we are going to put the similar value to this particular uh, column in this chart so how to do that so here we are going to go to the chart design select data add add we are going to give name q2 and for x axis we are going to give the probability okay and for y axis we are going to give the q okay okay so now you can see both the charts are overlapping that means both the results are coming at the same now we can see that at some initial values the blue line are giving more uh, lower value that means because because here we are actually calculating probability from 0.22 but in this case we are calculating from point uh, sorry from point uh, two. if we going to uh, you know put this cell down and we are going to use as 0.22 it 
we are just going to drag the formula and drag this chart enter so we are going to get the similar value so that's it uh, this is how you can calculate the flow duration curve and with the help of this you can uh, calculate the water availability either for hydrostructure or for trot analysis or lean flow analysis thank you